I'm Cherry Healy. I'm a journalist and a self-confessed beauty addict. Like many of us, I spend a lot of time and money on my appearance. If a product or a beauty treatment tells me it's going to help me to look closer to how I ideally want to look, then I am going to try it. And I'm not alone. In the UK, we spend over nine billion a year on cosmetics that promise to improve and transform us. But how much of what beauty products promise is simply marketing manipulation and how much is based on science and evidence. So I've teamed up with independent scientists to test our everyday beauty products like never before. I felt it blip. We carry out a groundbreaking study to uncover why there might be little point in wearing moisturizer every day. I'm really surprised that there's no anti-aging properties in the cream. We reveal the only over-the-counter product scientists would use on their own wrinkles. You can see the improvement yeah. down here. It is quite striking. Right, I can just ask you to spin over on your front. So I'm going to go into the right leg. We test cellulite treatments for ourselves to find an easy fix that actually works. I learned some shocking home truths about how I should have been looking after my own skin. It is worse than one would expect from your it age. It's bad. I'm going to put the claims on cosmetics to the test. I want to find out the truth about looking good. Beauty products can make some pretty bold claims. Talk me through the bee venom and sheep's placenta 24 karat gold. <laughs> so it's lifting, firming, hydrating. We seem to buy the sales pitch. We spend over two billion a year on our skin alone. How much is this? That is, I believe, just around 700. 700 pounds for yeah. this pot. Yeah. And there's one skincare product we use more than any other. Three quarters of women and half of all men moisturize. This is like routine. It's like having food every day, so moisturizer is my best friend. I just find it stops the, my skin drying out. Uh, I've been using it for many, many years. I always make sure I have my moisturizer with me. I feel that now I've hit my 30s, you do really have to look after your skin. The majority of us use moisturizer 